Hello, this is channel Layer Race, and user MV asks how to make a mesh around 3D globe or how to distort a texture around 3D globe. So in this tutorial I will show you how to do this. So first thing you have to create new document and you have to make width twice as long as height. So in my example it will be 60, 6, 600 pixels width and 300 pixels height. And now let's make a texture. This will be a quick te texture so you can see and get an idea how to make this. And your texture has to be seamless. And I'll show you how to create seamless texture. So for example, let's make triangular seamless te texture. Draw a triangle. I'll make mine 50 pixels width and 50 pixel height. And also make sure your objects uh, snap to point. So we have to go to view and snap to point. And using direct selection tool, drag this triangle to a corner of your document. So it snaps to the corner like this. Let's make no fill, just straw color. Let's see if it's is placed correctly. As you can see, it is placed directly on the corner of the document. So now let's create a copy and on keyboard click C while holding control and while holding control click F to make object on top. Now holding shift key rotate like this and using keyboard arrow keys move it to the right and as you move it it should snap automatically to the edge. like this. Let's also make on our triangles rounded corners so it doesn't look sharp. And now again select everything so control C control F and move it with keyboard arrow keys and repeat this until you fill the width of the document. And also make only with triangle and move it like this. And I have filled my document width with triangle. So again, control C, control F and now move it down and repeat until you fill all the document like this. Now let's select everything and go to object, expand and click OK. Now we have converted our stroke to fill by expanding. Now go to view, not view, window and click Pathfinder to open up Pathfinder panel and click on unite to unite everything to make single object. Now we have to cut these parts of our shape and to do this select rectangle tool, go on a document corner and click with mouse and 
make this the same as the document size. In my case it was 16, 600 pixels by 300 pixels. And hit OK. And make sure this is perfectly on the document corner. As you can see, mine is not. So using direct select, using uh, selection tool, click on anchor and drag it on the corner. And OK. Now select everything. And again, in your Pathfinder tool, you have to click intersect but you have to do this by hold when holding alt key so hold alt key and click intersect now go to object and expand and now you have a seamless texture and you can see that it is seamless by doing this okay let's try to resize it let's make this 300 by 150 and drag it like this, select it and make a copy, control C, control F and using arrow keys move it to the right, again select everything, control C, control F and move it down and you can see this is seamless texture and you can repeat this as you wish. Now select everything and drag this to your symbols panel like this and hit OK. Now you can delete everything. You can find symbols panel by going to window and clicking on symbols. Now let's make a 3D globe select ellipse tool and drag an ellipse uh, drag it while holding shift key so it's perfectly aligned and using direct selection tool select this point and delete it now select these two points and join them to join hit uh, hold the control key and click J button I'll go to object path join let's make this light gray so you can see the texture now go to effect 3d and revolve hit preview remove the shading go to on the surface and go to diffuse shading now go to map art select from the symbols your previously created symbol and click scale to fit so it fits perfectly in this area and click OK OK and now go to object, expand appearance and ungroup everything, ungroup, ungroup, release clipping mask and now select your warped texture and you can drag it like this this can be deleted, it, uh, we don't need this and you can see we have front warped texture and back warped texture and these are same textures if you rotate the back one 180 degrees you can see uh, exactly the same so we don't need our back texture and here we go we have a texture warped around 3D globe. Now you can add a background for your 3D globe. 
let's make this 200 pixels wide and 200 pixels height and also make a circle same size let's add a gradient a radial gradient like this let's make one color 30% gray now select your circle go to object arrange send to back select everything and align using align panel now let's make our texture transparent a little bit so it looks better so this is how you warp a uh, texture around 3d globe and okay thanks for watching also if you feel this tutorial was helpful to you you can support me by becoming patron on my patreon page and when you become patron you can ask me questions there about illustrator or photoshop and i will answer you and i can teach you how to make something in illustrator or photoshop Okay, and goodbye.